Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about comparison of Grey Wolf MBPT, Fuzzy MBPT and PU MBPT for solar PV system with the partial shading effect. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the Simulink model created for testing of or and comparison of Grey Wolf, Fuzzy and PYMPPT for the solar PV system with the partial shading effect. So here we have four cells right that means the four panel connected in series in order to create that partial shading effect concept okay so each panel the rating is at 249 watts and then the voltage at maximum power point is 30.96 and current at maximum power point is 8.07 the four panel connected in series the maximum power obtained from the this panel is around 1000 watts under standard test condition so that means under 1000 watts per meter square under 25 degrees celsius so here we are we are providing the different irradiation for the each panel not to create that partial shading effect and this is nothing but gw mbbt gray wolf optimization mbbt it going to receive two inputs vpv ipv and it will be generate beauty cycle okay and this is known as boost converter this boost converter is connected in between this pv panel and the load resistor so the duty cycle from this GWO MPPT is processed via pedulum generator. This pedulum generator generates the pulse for this IGPT in order to extract the maximum power. So based upon that partial shading effect. So next you have to see about PO MPPT for solar PV system with the partial shading effect so this is a model created for a PO MPPT for solar PV system and a partial shading effect so here we are using PO MPPT it received two inputs voltage and current so based upon voltage and current it will generate to the sake okay so next you have to see about the simulating model for for CMDBT. So this is a simulating model for a fuzzy MPPT. Okay, so the fuzzy MPPT will receive two inputs VPV, IPV, and it will generate a duty cycle. Okay, you can see inside the block of the fuzzy MPPT. So this is a fuzzy MPPT block, simulating block. Okay, so here we need to calculate change in power, change in voltage and then you have to calculate error change of error the based upon error change of error the fuzzy logic will be generate the duty seek so first time you have to uh, next time you have to explain the gw code so this is a gw code that means gw mppt code So here you can see that we implement that the GWO okay. So based upon this right the GW code it will generate the it will find the optimal duty cycle okay in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel. So this is a code used for GWMBPT. 
next time we do open the pu mbpt so this is a code for pu mbpt so based upon change in power and change in voltage here the duty cycle going to be decrement or increment so based upon this condition okay so the detail about uh, gwo fuzzy mbpt and pu mbpt so already i explained in my early video so you can check my youtube channel now now to get the better detail about gw mbpt fuzzy mbpt and pu mbpt so now i'm going to test the system for the four condition so first i'm going to test the system with the uniform irradiation that means i'm going to make the four panel irradiation equal to 1000 okay and then i'm going to simulate the model so same condition i'm going to consider for po mbpt and for cmbpt also So here I'm going to change 1000, 1000, okay. And then here also I'm going to make to change to 1000, okay. So now I'm going to simulate the GW MBPT, PU MBPT, and the FASI MBPT simulating model. And then we, we are going to check the that means we are going to compare the, the power extraction detail. So here you can see that under uniform irradiation at 1000 watts per meter square, right? The GWM BPT reach maximum point around 1.2 seconds. So and also you can see that the, the rise time is very less when compared to PO. Okay. Here you can see that fuzzy MBPT, right? So the fuzzy MBPT rise time is more or less same as a GWO. Okay, so we need to wait for the final steady state point. So here you can see that the PUMBPT it reached this uh, point, but you can see that it's not uh, reached the maximum power point, right? So they have some uh, deviation, right, in the maximum power point, okay, under uniform irradiation condition. And also here you can check the fuzzy MBPT. So fuzzy MBPT is not able to track the maximum point. is uh, trapped at the, the local maximum point. Okay. So we will wait for the response of fuzzy MBPT. Here you can see that so after some time uh, it will be it, it trapped in the local maximum point after that it reached to the global point okay so when comparing the result of uh, GWO and then PO and FASI right uh, the GWO will be having the smooth response and also it, it reached the, the maximum point very quickly but PO and uh, fuzzy having uh, high rise time and also it trapped into the local maximum point for this uniform irradiation condition so next i am going to simulate the model with making the irradiation equal to 1000 1000 1000 and 300 and then i am going to check the result of the 
GWO, PO and Fussy MB building. Now I am going to simulate the model one by one and we will check the results. So here you can see that the GW has reached the maximum or global point very quickly but you can see that PO right so PO will is taking long time to reach the, the global maximum point but you can see that fuzzy fuzzy having uh, the similar response okay with the GWO okay but we need to check the maximum power point so for that I am going to click this one I have to check the maximum power point so you can see that we are getting 742 watts by using GWO so here you can see that we are getting only 729 watts yeah, by using PO MBPT we are getting around 738 watts but you can see that we are not getting the maximum point that means by using fussy mbpt right we need to check the results we have to wait for some time the simulation is going on so here you can see that the fussy mbpt will provide only 723 watts okay so when comparing this three result right the gwo GW MBPT will provide the, the maximum point than uh, PO and uh, Fuzzy MBPT for this particular condition. Okay. So next I am going to compare the result for the next uh, operating point that means I am going to make the radiation equal to 1000, 1500, 300 here also I am going to change to 500 here also I am going to change to 500 okay. now I am going to simulate the model and then you have to check the results of the maximum power point tracking of GWO, PU and FASI first you have to check, check about the rise time So here you can see that it reached GW reached the maximum point okay and P also reached a maximum point but it have some difference right GW having less rise time P having more rise time than GWO but the, the, the rise time of GWO and Fuzzy will be same okay here you can see that the PO reaches the global point and PO reaches the global point so not which is the global point here you can see that there is small change in that uh, the power extraction from the PV panel so here you can see that the GW already reached a maximum point so now I am going to check the the power from the GW MBPT that means power extraction from the GW MBPT and PO MBPT and Fuzzy MBPT
so here you can see that the maximum power from the gw mbpt is around 486 watts so here you can see that pv having 485 watts and then fuzzy having only 424 watts okay so fuzzy not able to track the global maximum power band because so we need to tighten the rules right fuzzy inference rules so then only we can easily get the uh, maximum or global maximum um, point from the pv panel okay so from this comparison also the gw mbpt work better right than pv and fuzzy uh, mbpt so this is a comparison of the gw mbpt pv mbpt and fuzzy mbpt for the solar pv system under partial sharing effect so for three operating condition like uh, uniform irradiation and uh, partial sharing condition the gw mbpt provide better result than pv mbpt and fuzzy mbpt thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye